Hello and welcome to an attempt at a hardcore series. I was initially going to use the serve as a soldier mod, but unfortunately I haven't been able to get that to work. And I actually don't know why that is, because I updated everything that needed to be updated and unblocked the DLLs and all that wonderful stuff, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to have made any difference. So... Unfortunately, we won't be able to use that for this series, but that just means that we are going to change our attention to a more hardcore mindset. And so, what are we going to play? Well, that's the thing. We've just played as the Empire in the Eagle Rising series, and we've played um, we've played as the Azurai quite often. We haven't really. I mean, the Sturgeons kind of in the Bandit series where we were kind of like a crime lord, and I'm now thinking that maybe we'll play as the Batanians. I think that may sound pretty fun, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to play as the Batanians. Just going to randomize a little bit here. <laughs> oh, that guy looks absolutely hilarious, and I will be going for him. There we go. Fantastic. All right, so let's take a look here. So what am I wanting to use? Well, in my opinion, I'd like to use a bow. I have been yearning to use a bow for quite some time, so that is exactly what we're going to try and do. And if I can uh, create a character that's very thematic, then that is what I will hope to do as well. So basically that means using a two-handed uh, two handed sword and a bow, because that's what the Batanian Fian champions generally tend to use too. Oh yes, also I have installed My Little Warband once again. I know a lot of people are a big fan of that mod, and personally I am too, so why not? Let's, uh, let's have some fun with that. And I, as I said, am just literally going to be specking as many points as I can handle into the wonderful, wonderful skills um, re regarding bows. And uh, I think we're probably going to be age 50 here. Mm, maybe. I mean, here's the thing. It, I don't know what's, what, what's more hardcore because we're getting so many focus points, so many attribute points from this. Oh, yeah, bear in mind, I am reducing the amount of experience that I gain over time by 75%. So in other words, in my previous series, I've always doubled the amount of experience, but I am now reducing that by 75%. So we're earning 125% of the experience instead of, you know, 200%. So basically that is going to make things much, much more difficult. And I'm going to start at age 50. I think that will be quite fun. And we're going to be... Ugh, I don't really want to go for that banner color. I'm thinking something a little bit... Orange? Really? Orange. Okay, fine. We'll go for orange, and I'm going to be selecting something... Uh, well, what about this? This is something I've not really used in, uh, well, ever, so why not? Let's do that. And we're going to be calling ourselves Bear Tilled, obviously. That is what we usually do. And we will be calling ourselves... Hmm... We were just Borgar, weren't we? Hmm... We could do Byron, Bruce... Barney. Mm. I should have actually made a female character in this one, to be honest. Okay, we'll go for Bruce this time. Alright, so here we go. We're going to be playing on the Bannerlord preset, with the exception of player received damage being reduced to 50%. Now, there's a reason for this. I know I said I was going to be playing on Hardcore, and indeed, I am actually playing on Hardcore, because I have disabled one mod that I feel makes me into a bit too much of an absolute monster in the late game of Bannerlord. And that means HP per level is going to be disabled. For this series because HP per level as as far as I can tell is is very strong late game and I feel like it might be way too strong at some points because here's the thing eventually we're going to get to a point where we are so high level that the HP that I have is almost uh, I think it's like 300 maybe even 400 HP and while that does make sense from sort of like a realistic standpoint, you know, gaining experience, gaining combat, strength, and all that wonderful stuff, it generally is not going to make a big difference 
to a hardcore challenge. So generally, we're going to just go for, for the hardcore here and we're going to see what we can do. So this is going to be uh, kind of interesting. I'm not sure how it's going to go. If it turns out to be kind of meh, then obviously I'm going to try and tweak things a little bit, going to try and make things better. And um, yeah, if you don't enjoy it, then by all means, let me know. But otherwise, we're just going to be specking into this. I'm going to be mostly playing on foot as well. I'm not going to be using a horse for the most part. Uh, we're going to go, I think, probably decrease our boat accuracy loss due to movement. I think that seems like probably the way to go at the moment. And we're actually going to be increasing my control skill all the way to nine. Yeah, pretty significant right there. And we're probably also going to be increasing something else. Oh, yeah, I'm also um, I'm going to be relying on companions. All right. So I'm going to be relying on companions to cover my other skills. So, for example, medicine and engineering and uh, well, to a lesser extent, I suppose, scouting and tactics. We're going to be relying on people for those. And um, I think think steward also yeah steward we are also going to be relying on someone else for that so i'm not going to be speaking in engineering um medicine steward or tactics or scouting yeah that's basically it leadership is a bit more personal however so i might be considering specking into that but i do have one more focus point and i'm actually not entirely sure what to spec it into at this point in time so maybe charm skill i think charm skill all right, there we go. So let's just take a quick look at what we have here. I have a mountain hunting bow. I do have a horse at the moment, but obviously I'm going to be getting off that in just a second. Let me see if I can recruit some people real quick. Wait a minute. Oh, these are oh these are my um <laughs> oh these are my uh, my little warband people. All right, I actually have no idea what to really spec them into, but I would like to make them into a basic archer unit. I am going to be taking a suggestion from one of you, and that was to make sort of glass cannon units. So they're very light, they don't have a lot of armor, but they have some of the best, most offensive capability possible in the game. So I'm hopeful that we'll be able to do that. I'm going to probably be copying something and then just customizing it to my liking so i'm thinking probably batanian volunteers potentially and then we'll just customize them a little bit because as you can see these guys literally have a two-handed sledgehammer this is really not going to work so let me see here um we're going to give them a bow if we can a hunting bow hunting bow might actually work let me see if there's anything better I highly doubt there's anything better, to be honest. Oh, a practice longbow. Wow, that's actually kind of... That's actually kind of good. Um, wait a minute. W what is the other bow like? Yeah, the accuracy is terrible on that. Okay, yeah. So the, the practice, practice bow, I guess. Practice bow or practice longbow? Which one do you think? I think the practice bow seems, seems best. And then we're just going to basically give them some barbed arrows a bunch of barbed arrows there we go and then we're just going to give them a two-handed sword of some kind i actually have no idea whether they can even use a two-handed sword at this point in the game it's highly unlikely so even if i don't have the ability to give them a two-handed then i will oh they, they have a wooden one they can they can use a wooden one but that is absolutely terrible and they will do very little damage with it so i would very much like to prevent that if at all possible. Uh, hmm. I don't seem to be able to see any right now. No, there isn't. Okay, so that seems to be the case where I will have to give them one of these axes, potentially. These axes are usually pretty good, in my opinion, and they're not really difficult to use either, so I'm pretty happy with that. And what we're going to do is we're going to completely spec out of every single thing, with the exception of athletics, bows, and one-handed and there we go so that is going to be our first recruit and obviously that is then going to upgrade into this guy and he is uh, how do i how do i actually um 
There we go. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> I was actually doing that completely wrong. Okay, fantastic. Anyway, so yeah, now we can basically copy once again a template. We're going to probably copy the highborn youth here because generally they are going to be pretty nice. I mean, they're going to be pretty good and they are using an iron broadsword at the moment. Not sure whether that's a two-handed. I feel like that might be a two-handed, so I shouldn't have too many difficulties. Hopefully, where, yeah, where are the two-handed? Uh, yeah, it's having to look through all of this. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to customize a couple of units and then I'll see you after that. All right, so I have completed our customization of our bear units. This is the highest tier one we have, which is a bear assassin. Kind of felt like that was pretty amusing at the same time as being a little bit fear inducing as well. Because let's face it, if an enemy thinks, oh, they're bear assassins, they can't be that sneaky or stealthy or dangerous at all. But no, no, they are actually very dangerous. Anyway. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a little bit more customization as the series goes on with my little warband because, as I said before, I'd very much like to customize these guys to be as, um, shall we say, as um, in keeping with our current style. And if you think that something should be looking a certain way or looking a little bit differently, then by all means let me know because I'd very much like to have some community feedback on that. And uh, hopefully we're going to get some really, really cool looking units eventually. So anyway, here we go. Let's see what I can do here. I'm going to try and see if I can run away somewhat and uh, hopefully recruit a couple more units before we fight our first battle. Ah, what a perfect quest to get almost immediately upon starting the game. So this is obviously going to be one of those times where we run around, try to deal with a bunch of brigands and he's going to give me 550 gold for every single one we defeat bear in mind i only have eight units in my army at the moment so this is probably going to be a little bit touch and go as you can see look at my power levels pretty awful at the moment but don't worry hopefully we're going to be okay and uh yeah this uh this, oh my okay i'm kind of you know, I'm kind of worried about this. I'm kind of worried about this. I'm going to be remaining on a horse for the first episode or two. I, I don't know really how long it's going to be, but generally I don't want to get taken prisoner. That would be the only thing that I would like to try and prevent in the early stages of the series because generally every single time it's become a bit of a ritual, a bit of a, well, maybe a habit for me to get taken prisoner in the first episode. And I would very much like to try and prevent that. You know, I've just jinxed myself. I probably have just jinxed myself right then and there, just saying that alone. So I'm actually literally just gonna get off. I'm just gonna get off my mount and we'll see if we can do some damage normally. Oh, nice, okay, not too bad. Oh yeah, so obviously bear in mind, my experience gain is going to be a lot less than it was in previous series so for those of you that didn't really appreciate that well there you go that's obviously going to be a little bit um a little bit nicer for you potentially but anyway hopefully i'm going to be able to shoot that guy ah never mind not a headshot not a headshot but thankfully yes all my units seem to be doing an absolutely fantastic job by the way they're all women yes i have basically changed the gender of all of our units to women as I think that would actually be kind of cool. I think that's actually going to be super, super fun to see that. And uh, we're going to have a, a small elite band of um, extremely dangerous individuals. Let's just say that. Anyway, there we go. We're going to be gaining a hat. Oh yes, that's going to look real nice on him considering he actually doesn't have any hair. And uh, although we're not in a snowy area, it's, uh, it's going to be quite nice for him. Anyway, let's see what we can do here about the next group of bandits. That actually seemed to be super, super simple. And I'm kind of surprised about it, to be honest. I really thought that we were going to have some big, big difficulties. But thankfully, it seems as though my forces are able to deal with the opponent without too many problems. Now, uh, going forward, I am kind of unsure how to proceed, really, because on the one hand, I don't really want to ally myself with any particular faction. So I'm actually thinking right now, maybe what we want to do is literally go straight from being a mercenary. Oh, no, my horse is running. Oh, dear. 
I was actually hopeful that I'd be able to um, shoot a little bit and then get back on my horse to run away. But obviously that is... Uh, oh no, they're right behind me. Oh, this is pretty bad. But yeah, obviously that didn't really work out as I intended. Anyway, yeah, so basically what I would like to do is not particularly ally myself with any one faction and kind of see what happens as time goes on because I'm thinking to myself, hey, maybe it would actually be really cool if we could kind of... Um, hmm, kind of create our own faction straight away. And I'm not sure how viable that is going to be. And I'm not obviously talking about creating my own faction in this very episode, because obviously I feel like that would probably be way too difficult. But you never know. Maybe we're going to be able to do it sooner than you think. Anyway, I heard you may need help with the problem. I don't think you can help me. You don't have enough troops for this task. Oh, well, I do only have eight. <laughs> I do only have eight, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Okay, so, uh, elite recruit. Oh dear, I didn't do the noble units. Hmm, I didn't do the noble units of my little warband. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to do them right now. So they're just going to have to run around as a, as elite recruits at the moment, and I will be um doing something with them later down the line but uh, yes at the moment i just don't want to spend the time doing that right now i would like to be able to complete a couple of tasks maybe participate in a tournament Ugh. yes have fun me trying to do a tournament at this point in the game that's for sure all right let me recruit some more here do i have some prisoners by the way no I, yeah, uh yeah i have a few one basically yes one that is gonna break the bank for the ransom broker, no doubt. He's going to be super, super broke now. Ten gold we took from him. Really? Alright, what, what does this guy have? Train troops. Okay, so training troops. I know, I know. It's easy money, right? It's easy money. I'm just really... Oh, I am so awful at it. Okay, fine. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Even if I am terrible. We're going to see whether maybe I can... Um, do something good here and there's actually a really good reason why i wanted to take these guys too because there is another bandit quest which we can potentially do and then level up these guys at the same time at least that is what i am hopeful that we'll be able to accomplish let me see here okay there we go there's some looters let's fight them i could go in for an auto resolve or i could go in for a normal fight i think maybe a normal fight would be oh yeah this might not even work i mean look look, look at these guys right they they literally have pitchforks i mean it's highly unlikely they're going to be able to do anything with them right surely that bandit over there is very well geared thankfully i hit him in the head so that was a lot easier seems like my forces are absolutely insane i mean they've already leveled up leveled up to uh, bear elite archers and that is our tier three unit which is actually amazing. Yeah, you've got to bear in mind, by the way, I have not increased my troop experience at all. I've actually reduced it by, again, another 75%. So uh, there aren't any enhancements really going on here, apart from a small little increase just to make things a little bit smoother for myself. But that is really it. There's, there's not much more going on there. Okay, so the borrowed troops didn't actually... Oh, okay. Uh, apparently, party screen enhancements doesn't want to upgrade these these troops automatically. I don't know why that is. It's a view model problem for some reason. Okay, that's kind of interesting. All right, well, not to worry. I'm going to go in here versus these 15 looters. I feel like that's going to be a lot of fun. So let's try that out. Uh, yes, every single time. Every single time there's always something, you know? There's always a mod that doesn't work or some kind of conflict going on because of what the developers have done. You know, maybe they did an update or something and it has caused some Forward. random, weird, niche little thing to break in the background. And uh, you, don't, uh, you don't uncover it until it's too late, you know? That's usually how it goes. Anyway, I'm actually wondering whether I should tell these borrowed troops just to charge in or whether that's irresponsible. It's probably very irresponsible for me to tell them to charge in, right? Nice headshot. Okay, there we go. 
Gotta run away. Ah, no, no, no. Don't kill me, sir. Oh, my guys are doing good damage. Oh, good job, Borrow Troops. Good job, Borrow Troops. I actually wonder whether they leveled up from this. If they did, then that's absolutely fantastic. If they didn't, then, well, that's not really that big a deal. Oh, no, no, it seems like they did. That's fantastic. Okay, yeah, so it seems like there's a bit of a problem with this. Um, maybe... Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I literally just had to assign them, which is really weird because there was only one path that they could take, which is a bit strange, but okay. I, I guess that's, I guess that's fine. Anyway, there we go. So we have completed the looter quest at least. And now all we need to do is level up the other borrowed troop. So if I can do that, we will get paid. Oh yes, we're going to get paid a super, super large amount. Because as far as I'm aware, the borrowed troop quest is actually pretty good. Um, for its rewards, that is. Okay, here we go. Let me see if I can get some long-range shots. Highly unlikely with this bow. I'm going to very much try to get the noble... Mm, I'm thinking the noble bow or maybe the noble longbow. I'm not entirely sure which one to go for just yet. I know that um, they're both very good. And the, the, the main difference between them is that the noble bow is a little bit more usable. Because it is uh, a little bit faster. It has a higher missile speed. And um, it does 15 less damage, as far as I'm aware. 15 less damage. So it's a pretty significant damage loss. But I wonder whether the missile speed makes up for it. It might. Wow, these guys are getting murdered. I mean, they are only looters after all, right? They are only looters. Alright, did they actually gain any levels from that? No, they're not going to gain any levels from that. Yeah, I'm, I keep thinking in warband terms, to be honest. Okay, so we're probably just going to go in for an auto-resolve against some of these other guys right here, because generally, if we can do that, they might level up just that much quicker. So, let me see here. Nice, there we are. And no, they didn't. They didn't level up. Okay. Yeah, this will be a little bit difficult for us, I think. It's going to be one of those times where I'm trying really, really hard to get these borrowed troops leveled up, and then they just take way too long. Okay, let's see. Did they? N no, it's because he's all the way at the bottom. That's the reason. Yes, he's all the way at the bottom of the party screen. So let me see if I can maybe rectify that a little bit. And we have 58 days to do this, by the way. Forest bandits. Okay, these guys are going to be cr crazy good. Did they? Did he level up? No, and he's in the... Why is he in the bottom again? I have no idea. Why is he in the bottom? Okay, that's kind of strange. Oh, uh, well, never mind, never mind. Okay, let's go for the looters. And we're. you know what we're going to do, all right? We're actually going to go in versus the looters, and we are going to go in with them, but side by side. I'm going to go into melee with them, and I'm going to help them out, because we're just going to tell them to charge in. That's pretty much what I'm going to tell them to do right now, because our archers are obviously going to be attempting to um, help us out in a pretty significant way, and hopefully I'll be able to distract a couple of the enemy as well. Nice. Uh, well, not so much nice, but a decent amount of damage being done right here. And apparently all of the veterans... Oh, are, you, are you serious? All these troops are literally just dying right now? I was hopeful that they would not actually die and that they would be able to survive or at the very least be knocked unconscious, you know what I mean? See, I, this is what I'm talking about. I'm always extremely bad at this particular task. I don't even know what's going on with that. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, I think they have... Yeah, send the troops back. We gain 2,400. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. I was actually thinking to myself, these guys are going to be really mad. They're going to fail me or something. But no, they actually were pretty happy with my progress and pretty happy with what I was able to do. So I'm I'm kind of pleased with that. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, there is no tournament going on here at the moment. And now that we have a little bit of extra cash, I would like to be able to find one. There is one right here. Fantastic. Okay, this is perfect. All right, 
I'm going to wait here for some time. If the tournament ends, then the tournament ends. But I really want to wait here because I wanted to do it in the daytime. There we go. And now let's have a look. There are two, <laughs> there are two nobles present. Yes. Okay, so your attacks with the bows ignore 10% of the enemy's armor or decrease the penalty to movement speed for reloading. That, in my opinion, is absolutely amazing because what you can do is you can run away while reloading and not suffer too badly as a result of that. Gain 5 influence by winning a tournament, 30% more likely to have children. I'm going to do the uh, 5 influence by winning a tournament and we're going to be increasing our charm skill a little bit more and then we're going to increase our vigor skill as well. I'm going to be going for hardcore amounts of fighting skills in this series because as I said I'm going to be attempting to find companions that cover our, uh, our weaknesses in the form of an engineer, a medic and a steward. And hopefully we can also find someone that does tactics and scouting. But that's that's kind of like more of a minor thing for me. So anyway, let's do this. There are two nobles in this particular tournament. I am highly, highly expecting myself not to be able to win this. Uh, but I have a two-handed. So it could potentially give me some nice level ups. Oh dear. It's a Batanian Oath Sworn. Yeah, I can't do much against that when I'm so low level. I really cannot. It's, uh, I mean, I would be able to, but my team just literally died. They were relatively similar to me, where they were kind of low tier. You can see here I was with a companion. This guy's obviously not any match whatsoever for Ciaramus. Ciaramus is just way too strong. Let's see who actually ends up winning this. Wow, Ciaramus actually got himself eliminated here. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, so the Oath Sworn are very good units, and I'm going to assume that Guran is going to win. Yeah, he did. Of course he did. Oh, well, never mind, never mind. Okay. That is just a setback. It's not that big a deal because we only spent 500. Yes, I think we only spent 500 gold on the whole thing, which is really not that big a deal. I think that that's perfectly fine. And once again, I am not going to be taking Family Feud. I'm always very bad at Family Feud. I don't know why, but I really am just awful at it. All right, so I got one of the best, best tasks for the early game. Needing manual laborers. Oh, yes. This guy needs manual laborers. And what better way to get manual laborers than to literally fight two bands of looters at the same time? Can you believe that I am taking such a massive risk right right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can. Anyway, 200 weapons. You will have 10% better handling. I'm probably going to be going for that because generally infantry troops in the formation you're leading have their two-handed skill increased by 30. If I'm going to be using a whole bunch of archers that are not on horses, then I think they generally tend to count as infantry, even if they're not strictly that. So yeah, that's what we're going to be going for. And then athletic skill, increase your movement speed. Yep, increase your movement speed. That's what I will be doing. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go in for a manual battle here and see what we can do. Obviously, this is going to be a time when I'm probably going to stay on my horse a little bit. And uh, we're going to see if I can maybe snipe off a couple of kills. I don't really care too much about experience for myself at the moment, but I would very much like to try and level up my own skills. It doesn't really matter whether I level up. That's what I'm talking about mostly. Okay, here we go. Can I, can I do it? Oh, I hit someone. Wow, can you believe that? Okay. Yeah, I mean, with this crosshair, I'm kind of wondering how I'm able to hit anything, to be honest.
Well, it seems as though my bear assassins are absolutely murdering the opponent at the moment, which is super, super nice. And uh, that's actually what I was intending to do the entire time. Obviously, what I'm actually going to try is I'm basically going to make it so that they're wearing pretty much no armor. I, I, I think that might actually be a little bit problematic now that they're women, because obviously that was not my intention initially. You know, I thought to myself, oh, well, I might as well change all of them to female units because I thought that would be cool, you know? I thought that would actually be really cool, but obviously if I'm taking off all their armor, then that kind of, well, that doesn't, that's not particularly great, right? So yeah, uh, I'm not sure what I'll do about that, but maybe I can find some light armor, you know? Maybe I can find some light armor for them or something like that, but I basically wanted them to be as glass cannon as possible because in a situation like this, I mean, you can see how incredible they were, but what if they're not against looters? What if they're not against looters and they're up against someone that is actually going to get to them and then be able to hit them? If that indeed happens, they're going to take way too much damage and we are just going to end up losing a huge amount of them in the process. So I guess that might be kind of the difficulty that we might be able to work with. I'm not entirely sure at the moment, but I will. Oh my I would love to be able to go into these guys. All right, here we go, here we go. I'm going to try and just uh, do an auto-resolve here because I would very much like to try and complete the uh, prison t prisoner task as best as we possibly can. I'm going to continue trying to auto-resolve against people. I only have eight days to, um, to complete this task, so do bear that in mind. That's the reason why I'm kind of rushing... rushing around uh, yeah okay um yeah that's interesting i was not expecting myself to actually lose when i had I, i'm gonna say pretty pretty decent i i think at least i had pretty decent chances of achieving victory there but apparently many of my units had been already eliminated maybe that was the reason why we were having a problem nice headshot this is basically do or die right now this is do or die if i fail right here i will have failed the promise or shall we say the um the wish that i had for myself which was to not get taken prisoner in the first episode of the series. Can I make it? Oh, it's looking much better now. It's looking so much better now. Nice. Yes. Whew. Okay. Yeah, I just spent a little bit longer just aiming, just being careful, making sure that I actually hit because if I'm moving that slowly, that guy is 100% going to hit me every single time. Thankfully, we are able to now take all the prisoners that we need and I can level up more units. All right. So we're going to be moving around really, really slowly now as well. So I'd like to get to... Oh, no. There are some looters right there. This is really bad. They're going to try and kill me. All right, I'm going to literally, uh, what can I do here? What can I do? Hmm. Yes, we will discard a lot of these weapons. Uh, what about the food? Yes, the food situation is also something a little bit worrying. What else can I do here? Um, I guess I just have a lot of armor here. A lot of armor that is kind of slowing me down, which is actually a lot of money, by the way. This is a huge amount of money that I'm just basically giving away here. But you've got to bear in mind, if I get into a battle with these looters right now, I think that's probably going to be a game over. Or at least, I think it probably will be. Anyway, um, let me see here. Barbed arrows could actually be more useful to me. So I'm actually... What? Really? Really? Splintered arrows. They're recommending splintered arrows. All right. Don't know why, but okay. Uh, let's just do this. I personally feel like the piercing damage is better. Is that just me? 
Oh, well. Um, okay, so let me have a look here. Oh, this is... Oh, yeah, these shields are extremely weighty. Okay, good. Um, mm, we could get rid of some of this. There we are. Okay, so I have three days remaining. Okay, so we've discarded all these items. Really, really disappointing. But we have now gained over... Well... A, a massive a massive massive amount of movement speed so thankfully i was able to get away from those looters but there you are anyway let's go in here and speak to this guy i brought you a few men indeed how much do you want to give me 2400 okay i think that's probably more than what the uh what the loot that i just gave away would have given me so i'm pretty happy with that and i have also leveled my clan tier up to one which is actually super nice so in the next episode, I'm going to be spending these perks. We're going to be trying to find more companions, or shall we say, find our first companion who can hopefully cover the medicine steward and engineering skills. And otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.